Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about if the GoPro Hero 7 is good for vlogging. So I got this on Black Friday and I've been using it when I went on my trip to Shanghai, China and our latest three vlogs. I don't vlog too often on this channel mainly when we're doing something exciting or cool or like hanging out for the day with our friends and we're doing something outdoor slash adventurous, that's when I usually do a vlog. So the setup that I have for vlogging right now is pretty much just the GoPro Hero 7 on its uh, case that it comes with, which is like an open kind of case. It's just more of like a skeleton type case and it's on the... GoPro Fusion tripod. So this is the Fusion grip, but you can pretty much use it for any type of GoPro. It doesn't have to be for the GoPro Fusion, but it did come with our GoPro Fusion when we purchased it. Now, I like this monopod because it's actually a tripod as well. So you can extend it three different lengths, but what I like about most about it is that it has this feature so you can pretty much put the prongs out and then put it on a table on the ground or wherever you want and then easily put it back into place so that's why i like using this monopod slash tripod when i'm vlogging with the gopro hero 7. so i'll share with you what i liked and what i didn't like and then i'm also going to show you guys some of the clips that we have from our vlogs and show you different scenery and how it performed whether it be outdoors indoors in light so like i said i pretty much use this setup i don't have any external mics right now and i just pretty much go like this and then i'm just you know kind of vlogging talking to the camera showing things around it's a very easy setup. So here's what I like. It's small, it's compact, it's light, very easy to use. I like this button here at the top. Pretty much when you press that, it starts recording. And then when you press that again, when you're done, it turns off the camera. So I don't need to worry about it being on or off. I pretty much just press that when I want to record and then press it again when I'm done recording and the camera will turn off. Very easy to use. Like I said, I put this in my purse, my backpack, my pocket. It's a very durable camera. So, you know, if you drop it, put water on it, it's waterproof. It can pretty much handle any of that kind of stuff because GoPros are made for that kind of thing. I used to vlog with a Nikon DSLR, a Nikon D5500, you know, those bigger cameras. And although you can get better picture quality for the most part all around, you can zoom in, zoom out. What I didn't like was how big, bulky, heavy and delicate it was. So I definitely had to be much more careful with the DSLR. I couldn't be throwing it around, couldn't have water on it, so I can't take it on our snow and water adventures. It wasn't easily compactable, like I couldn't shove that in my purse. It, it had to be in the camera bag, which is quite big and bulky. But it is a professional DSLR, so you are going to get more professional shots out of it. Now you do still really get good shots here on the GoPro. So I was vlogging with the heavier Nikon DSLR for a bit, but I realized after a while that, you know, we're usually on the go in the vlogs and I'm usually filming adventure type vlogs. And I don't want to have to worry about the camera breaking, getting wet, transporting it. It just wasn't as easy and fun to vlog with that kind of camera. I find much more ease when I'm vlogging with this because it's really small and really easy to take around and people aren't as weird about the camera. Like when you pull this out, it's like, oh, it's a GoPro. It's a tiny camera. People aren't as self-conscious with it. It's not too invasive, whereas the other camera which was much bigger, had like a lens. There were times where I would be filming in places and I did have to get told to, you know, you have to put the camera away or you can't bring that in here. 
I also like that the GoPro comes with many different mounts, so you can place it in many different places. You can have the chest harness right here. You can have the wrist mount right here. You can put it on your helmet or hat. You can mount it on your bike, mount it on the side of a car. There's much more versatility with the angles and shots, whereas with the DSLR, I, can't, I have to hold it. Like, I can put it on the ground, and put it on a tripod, but pretty much I'm gonna have to hold it if I'm moving around. So let's talk about the downsides to this. You know, it's really great, really small, really easy to use, but there are some downsides. So as I mentioned before, with a, with a professional DSLR camera, you're generally going to get better video quality. This has one type of shot. It does have a zoom on it, but the zoom isn't that great and I don't typically use it because when you do the zoom function on the GoPro Hero 7, when you start recording, it just stays in that zoom function area. You can't actually zoom in and, in and out while you're filming. So if you zoom in, then it's pretty much gonna look like that for that shot. Also, the sound quality isn't going to be a professional type quality. Now you can get an external microphone for this as well, which I will be doing in the future. So overall, for our style of vlogging, the GoPro Hero 7 works just fine for us because I don't vlog too often on our channel. We're not daily vloggers. We'll maybe vlog like a couple times a month when we're doing like something interesting and they're usually outdoor type adventures or trips. So for our channel, it's kind of like added bonus material. It's not the main focus of our channel as we mainly do tutorial videos, kind of like this one. So I'm okay with the quality that I get from the GoPro Hero 7. You can just take it on the go when you're on the go, which is what we're mainly doing all the time. So let me show you some examples of the three vlogs that I've done so far with the GoPro Hero 7. Okay, so this is our latest one where we went snowshoeing here in Vancouver at Grouse Mountain. This is outdoor in the like parking area. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So as you can see, we are on the wilderness in front of a mountain. We are going snowshoeing for the first time. So for me, the audio quality is fine. Um, it's much better than what we had previous. Our previous GoPro was a GoPro Hero 3 and that audio quality was really bad so I wouldn't recommend vlogging on that one but they've improved it quite a bit from the 3 to the 7 and it's only getting better as the GoPros go higher and higher in number but it's pretty decent and you can clearly hear what I'm saying. Here's some more uh, clips of when we were actually snowshoeing. Alright, got the snowshoes on. Vivi's got all her gear. She doesn't need to rent anything. Marie, you've got the snowshoes on. Our first time snowshoeing. <laughs> you don't know where you're... And here's when we started to go up the mountain. So we were getting less and less light. You can see that, you know, the quality is, isn't as good in low light. But here, I'll show you. with duck shoes. And here's sort of the end when we were walking back towards the main area where there were lights again. There is partially frozen right now. Jill did awesome <laughs> for that. Okay, it was not she's... a tour. It was a snowshoe workout. It was like a hike up the mountain with duck shoes, as you can see. Here's another example of when we were in downtown Vancouver and we were doing this like scavenger hunt thing. The sound of the traffic is a little bit louder so you can get a feel for when you're outside. It's a little bit windy and there's a bunch of traffic happening. We've got our guide Richard who is like remote through the app and we're just gonna do a strategy right now to try and figure out what's the best plan of attack. Or 
street. So what happens is we have a list of things to look for. So here's a clip of us talking inside Arit's car, and you guys can check out the audio quality there as well. The whole time, it's just we had the flu. So we want to take you guys on the journey. That is the vlog for today. So we'll see you guys in the next clip. Here's indoor at a rock climbing facility. And then here is our friend Phoebe climbing up the rock climb. I like the versatility of the angles that you can get because for sure we wouldn't be able to get these angles with a regular DSLR. So I actually filmed this twice because I don't have two GoPros. So I filmed her first climbing the mountain, sorry, climbing the wall, and then we strapped the GoPro to her wrist and I told her to climb it the exact same way so that we could put the two clips side by side so it looks like you know you're getting the visual of her climbing at the same time. So it really does depend what your needs are for your YouTube channel and for your vlogs. So I would recommend vlogging with the GoPro Hero 7 if you have a similar vibe to us in that you value how light and portable your camera is and how you can just, you know, put it in your bag, put it in your purse, pull it out, easy to use and just film the fun shots that you need to get. So if you are interested in checking out the GoPro Hero 7, the tripods or any other links that I mentioned in this video, you guys can head down to the description below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.